for you. Nice seeing you again. Nice seeing you too. Thanks. Oh, what a nice place. Oh, thank you. We just uh, moved in here. Oh, wow. <clears throat> well, I see you've already got the reinforces out. Yeah, yeah. I remember you uh, told yeah. me that they're needed for this. Yeah, so. but make sure for her, just let her choose between chocolate or chips. Okay. Okay? Yeah, I wasn't too sure. But... Okay, not a problem. It's good to be prepared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so... All right, so I start putting a program for Julia to put on deodorant. Mm -hmm. Here I have the agenda. Also, I'm going to copy mm -hmm. for you. Okay. <clears throat> no, thanks for you. you. Okay, so <clears throat> in the agenda, you'll be uh, seeing all the information about the session today, mm -hmm. the training session. And uh, eventually, by the end of the session, you'll be able to teach her and... Uh, you know, implement those skills on uh, her, yeah. on the program of teaching her how to put on deodorant, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to teach her how to put on deodorant using the roll on deodorant, and I've already provided you with one. Oh, that's uh, nice. No problem. <clears throat> like this. No. Okay, so uh, I used the roll on deodorant yeah. instead of the other one. We'll teach her how to use this first, and then we're going to have to gener generalize that, meaning we'll have to teach her how to move the skill towards using other kinds of deodorant. For example, the kind where you, you, know, you have to like twist it from the bottom and apply it to your armpits. <clears throat> also, we're going to teach the skill using forward chaining, mm -hmm. which means that Julia has to master first uh, her first step before moving on to the second step. And you have to guide her through the whole trial. But every time you do the trial, you have to start from the beginning to the end. Okay. okay so because you have to chain the uh, the mm -hmm. steps. Okay. All right. Also, and you make sure that the reinforcers are out and they're available. You know, invisible. for mm -hmm. yeah, visible for her to see. Okay. Well, you know, you first ask her, oh, which one you wanna sure. work for. Okay. <clears throat> Next on the list, I'll show you the uh, procedure step. That's for you to um, to use as a guide for when I'm not around. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it tells you how to implement the program from step one to uh, the final step. Okay. Also, I have here the performance checklist. It's for you to monitor your performance when you're teaching Julia. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to explain to you how to use it. Basically, it's um, a table. There's uh, the steps and then yeses and no. Mm -hmm. Once uh, you've done the uh, training session with, uh, sorry, the teaching session with uh, Julia, you uh, check for what, how many yeses and how many, as opposed to the noes. So the total number of yeses divided by the total number of steps, and then you multiply that by 100. It's, uh, it's good to do that because it tells us how accurate the intervention was, and uh, if if there's any issues, you know, we can always modify the program for you to suit uh, Julia, okay? And this is called procedural integrity. <clears throat> also, uh, you do the performance checklist every time you, um, you uh, finish with the teaching session with Julia, just so you can uh, see how you're doing. Oh, okay. keep track it's for you to keep track, yeah. Okay. okay? And the checklist of the uh, procedure for Julia, mm -hmm. like, you know, step one till the final step, mm -hmm. you uh, just keep track of that and see if she's following those steps or not. Okay. Okay? So if you have any questions, please, um, you know, ask me right now. I'm um, not at the moment. Um, no. Is that like you find yeah. everything clear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's good to have that uh, checklist for you for... For you to see how well you're doing, as well as to keep track if Julia's, you know, following every step. But yeah, <clears throat> so uh, I'm gonna role play for you right now okay. how to do the program, and then after we're done, you do the opposite. Mm -hmm. So you ro role play for me, <clears throat> and then I'll do the performance checklist and uh, see how this training session goes. Okay. okay? Good, yeah. All right. So uh, first. 
for the the program, mm -hmm. I I know you've mentioned to me before that she knows how to turn just the cap yeah. on. Yeah. Like how to open it, but after that she doesn't know. Yeah, she, she doesn't, doesn't know. know. So you just need to like help her out with that, and hopefully she'll master the skill. Okay. Okay, so at the beginning, you know how usually she will put on deodorant after after, uh, after showering or before getting ready. Yeah. So, excuse me, typically for that, she would have her shirt off, right? Yeah. yeah. But for now, I understand you don't want to take off your shirt. Mm -hmm. So we'll just imagine that her shirt is off, okay? Mm -hmm. And that deo deodorant, sorry, is uh, somewhere visible for her to see. Okay. So first we'll prompt her, oh Julia, mm -hmm. so after showering, what are we going to do right now? We're gonna have, you're going to have to put on deodorant, right? So put on deodorant, Julia. After that, normally, because you said she knows she knows how to, yeah, yeah, where it is to grab it and hold it, right? Mm -hmm. So she'll do that. Mm -hmm. So you're Julia, you're doing that. Mm -hmm. And then here, you're going to have to use most to least prompting. Mm -hmm. So basically first, you're going to do a hand over hand. Mm -hmm. And then the the one after that you can use is uh, f f partial physical mm -hmm. and then gestural. Okay. okay, gestural is just a point. All right. Okay. So here, normally, she's holding it like that, right? Mm -hmm. So lift this arm mm -hmm. and then put on deodorant, Julia. Mm -hmm. And she's doing it. Oh, good job, Julia. You praise her after every uh, correct response. Okay. Okay. All right, now it's time to do the other arm, Julia. Mm -hmm. So... Oh, and then, yeah, we'll, we, at the beginning, you put that down. Okay. <clears throat> and then it's time to put on deodorant on the other arm, Julia. Mm -hmm. So for now, you're going to have to prompt her to move it to the next arm. Mm -hmm. And then, using partial, mm -hmm. lift up your, your arm, Julia, and then put on deodorant. Mm -hmm. And then she puts it. Okay? Yeah. And then... We're all done, Julia. Good job. Good job. That's how you put on deodorant. Mm -hmm. And then it's time to close it. So you point using gesture. And yeah, good job closing it, Julia. And right after that, you deliver the reinforcer mm -hmm. right away. Okay? Mm -hmm. So now you can do it on me. Okay, so uh, Julia, you just showered. So what are we going to do? We're going to put on deodorant. Okay, so put on deodorant, Julia. Right, so she knows. To what the bottle looks like. Yeah. She, knows she knows how to open it, mm -hmm. and then that's me, Julia. Okay, so now can you put the cap down, Julia? Okay. Good job, Julia. Okay, now could you please lift your arm? <coughs> and you can apply it here in a circular motion around. Okay, you don't have to tell her all of that. Just no. put on your okay. arm. Yeah, on. that's how you put okay, it on. Good, good job. Now, good job. Put your hands in. Now could you switch? Okay. Your hand? All right. All right, good job, Julia. Now lift your arm. And apply it, yeah. Mm hmm Okay, that's good. Okay, so yeah. you you like let's say she didn't know to put her arm down. Yeah. You can use hand over hand, you can use okay. uh you know gestural, just put your arm back down. Okay, put your hand back down. Okay. Good job. Now could you mm hmm So you just okay. point at it, tell her we're all done, we're Julia, all good job. job. Yeah. That's how you put on deodorant. And then prompt her to uh take the cap and close it. Just tell her it's you're done, so mm -hmm. close it. Okay, so we're all done, Julia. Good job. You just put on deodorant. Close, close it. Close it. Okay. Good job. Good job, Julia. Okay, and then right away we deliver it. And here's there we go. Good job. Right, so did you have a hard time? Do you think... Uh, no, um, well, since the procedures are here and there's that checklist, so... <clears throat> okay, you can also... It's a good guideline, yeah. Yeah, and if you need any help or if you feel that... There's something that's not clear. You can always mm -hmm. call me. Yeah, for sure. You can set up another meeting, and after that, there's a follow up that I'm gonna have to do with you. Okay. Once uh, we're you're done implementing the program, mm -hmm. to see if it's actually good for Jewel, like it worked for her, or mm -hmm. if it needs any modification. Okay. And then you know I'll call you back and see when is a good time for us to do a follow up. Okay, that's amazing. okay. Yeah. All right. So as I explained, you have yeses and nos, and then you know. Oh, okay. Okay. So, um, yeah, what well, for the uh, chart, for the integrity chart? Oh, the, the performance chart yes. on yourself. Yeah. So, uh, the way they calculate it, like I'm looking at it here. Okay, yeah, it's, um, so for now, I'm going to have to evaluate you, right? Mm. <clears throat> You've got, uh, like, a, for this step right here, okay, a yes, mm -hmm. a yes, mm -hmm. and then after it's done, 
Um, what we'll do is the number of yeses divided yeah. by the steps, the okay. num total, the total number, number of steps, okay. and then you multiply that by 100. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right. All right. So, well, um, thanks a lot. No problem. If I have I any questions, out. I'll uh, call you. Please yeah, I hope so too. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, the deodorant? Oh, no, no, you just keep that. All right. Okay? Thanks a All lot. Right. You're welcome. Have a good night. Take care. Oh. Okay. Bye. Bye.